One of San Diego's most famous athletes is training to defend his title at this year's Boston Marathon. Meb Kofleski grew up here in San Diego. He is a father and a world-class athlete. CBS News 8's Jeff Zevley wants everyone to know he has a man crush on Meb. This is a new one for me. The publicist for Meb Kofleski told me to be in this park waiting for the Boston Marathon winner. I was told to be loose and ready to run. Just like clockwork, Meb Kofleski arrived right on time. How are you? After already running 16 miles. I'm hoping that you're really tired because now <laughs> I'm ready to run. My running shoes are almost a decade old. Is that, <laughs> is that gonna be a problem? Meb said well, no, but you know. my endurance was another matter. After all, I'm trying to keep up with the only athlete in history to win the New York Marathon, the Boston Marathon, and an Olympic medal. The walk of shame. I may not be able to run like Meb, but we do share common ground. We both wear our socks up high, and people are always messing up our last names. Kaflaisgi, Kaflazigi, Kaflamaigi, or there's so many different ways, but a lot of people know me as Meb. Meb and I both went to high school here in the county. We are both married with daughters, and we both love to take siestas. I don't know about you, but I'm ready for a nap. Do you want to leave? Uh, let's do it. Oh, man. Meb says he has to take power naps because of his busy schedule and relies on his Epson Run Sense watch. I'm always stressed about time too because I'm always on deadline. You're always stressed about time because you got to run fast. Time is important because whether it's millisecond or two second or three second can separate you from winning or not winning. That watch monitors Meb's heart rate. I can't tell you how fast it's beating, but I can tell you it's pure. Why are you so nice? because that's the only way to live. Since Meb showed me his favorite sport, I figured I should show him mine. Man, you're a natural. Look how sweet those hands are. Have you, you've never set a volleyball on this? Perfect. Apparently, there's nothing this man can't do. Do you do dishes at home? I do. He does that too. <laughs> the training seems to be paying off. I'm keeping up with the pace and my heart rate is low. Of course, it helps that I'm on a skateboard and I'm getting towed. How's this going for you, Meb? Doing well. Doing well. Get ready for Boston. <laughs> <laughs> Back to you in the studio. <laughs> I was wondering how Jeff was going to keep up. Now we know. If you'd like to learn more about Meb's approach to fitness, nutrition, and life, he has a new book coming out titled Meb for Mortals. For more information, click on our hot button at cbs8.com.